the morning crypto commute with your host, DeFi Dialogue, where we discuss the world of DeFi, crypto news, and daily motivation to start your day. DeFi Dialogue, good morning crypto world. Today I have some great stories to cover. Let's get into it. So three titans in the financial field, Citadel, Fidelity, and Charles Schwab, announced yesterday they will form a partnership in order to create a crypto exchange. And according to the report, the reason they formed this partnership was to solve the issue of stability and liquidity with other exchanges. Exchanges such as Binance, FTX, and Coinbase. So looking into this, I have formed the opinion they are looking to be direct competition for some of these well-established exchanges and the partners have named their exchange EDX Markets. So let's go check out businesswire.com. They also released an article covering this. So there's a few things in this article that we definitely have to cover. They mentioned they wanna leverage a network of digital custodians to safeguard assets. A first of its kind exchange that will address latent demand for digital assets trading by enabling safe and compliant trading of digital assets through trusted intermediaries. So of course, I find this partnership very interesting. What was it that finally forced the dinosaurs out of extinction and interested in cryptocurrency? And I know you remember, these are some of the people that once said crypto was pointless, it was dumb, they did not get it, and crypto was just a way to undermine the American dollar. So what caused their recent change of heart? What now? What made them decide to finally start looking outside of fiat? And what do they know or what do they speculate will happen in the world of crypto in the near future? So you have to remember, these are three of the top competitors in the financial game. These are people who are normally at odds with each other, trying to steal each other's customers, trying to convince you to come to their platform and bring your money with you. So if all three of them now get together and form this partnership, this great alliance, they definitely have my attention. I don't know about you, but when I hear of digital custodians of my cryptocurrency, it brings me back to the Robinhood days when Robinhood would not allow you to move your crypto assets off their platform. And eventually Robinhood did move away from this structure, but they did lose business to places like Coinbase that allowed you to move your coins to your own hardware wallet. So reading all this and looking at the direction they're looking to take, and them stepping in, keeping your digital assets nice and safe with them. So this reminds me of my favorite phrase, not your keys, not your coins, not your money. And right now I can only go off the documents they released to the public. And I have not come across any information that they mentioned you would be able to remove your coins from their site and place in your own hardware wallet. So leave me a comment, let me know, what do you think about all this? So in my last segment, I covered the Bitcoin island city of Prospera. Prospera is located in Honduras and they formed an autonomous city that Bitcoin is the legal tender. And what I'm excited about is it looks like this thinking is catching on and spreading. So today, let's talk about what's going on in Nigeria. And Nigeria is looking to establish their own special economic zone for Bitcoin and crypto. And one thing that I noticed, there's a common player that keeps showing up when countries mention they want to start their own Bitcoin or crypto friendly zone. And that common player that I keep seeing is Binance. Their goal in creating this virtual free zone is so they don't miss out on this $1 trillion industry. And this is what I think a lot of countries around the world are waking up to. It's a lot of money involved in blockchain and cryptocurrency that could really help their economy if they took part in it. So also in this statement, they mentioned if the partnership is reached, their virtual free zone would mimic the free zone in Dubai. And the free zone in Dubai is a force to be reckoned with. They keep getting kudos from all around the world for what they have established. And this is something that Nigeria did that seems a little different from what other governments were doing. So in February of last year, the Central Bank of Nigeria issued a letter banning regulated institutions from dealing with Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies. And following the ban, Nigeria saw an uptick of 27% peer-to-peer -peer Bitcoin transactions across the country. 
And this is a very different approach what I've seen other governments doing. And so what I found encouraging about this move, this lines up with the whole creation of Bitcoin. When Satoshi created Bitcoin, this is a statement that he made. He wanted it to be more of a peer to peer based transaction, not the government involved and major exchanges involved. So after reading this article, I'm definitely rooting for Nigeria. I hope they pull this off. I hope they establish the city that mirrors Dubai's free zone. This is another story I'll be keeping up with and providing updates on. So let's end today's video with a quote from Satoshi. I've been working on a new electronic cash system that's fully peer to peer with no trusted third party, Satoshi. So thanks for tuning in. My hope is that you have a great rest of your day. DeFi Dialogue signing off. Understand.